here back at the Chicago Comic Con once again, and I have Sergio Aragonez with me, uh, one of the greats in the comic industry, a uh, creator of uh, Gru and um, co-creator with uh, Mark Evaner on the uh, Mighty Magnor, uh, longtime artist for Mad Magazine. How you doing? Pretty good. In 36 years with my... <laughs> 36 years. Wow. Yeah. You even have video out now. Sure, so there was an interview that the Stan Lee did with a lot of artists, and uh, I'm one of them. Yeah. Well, tell us a little bit about how you got into the industry. Well, uh, the, the, it was so long ago. Uh, first, I started as a fan, as a kid, loving cartoons, and eventually wanted to be a cartoonist. And I started drawing and since high school, and published for uh, the local newspapers, and suddenly you were there. Uh, I have always loved comics, but have never worked for comics until 60, 68, because I started with Matt in 62, but I started Matt as a, car uh, as a cartoonist doing gags, the, 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 this type of, um, of, of gags without words, uh, all pantomime. And that's I've been doing for since 1954. Wow! So the comics is a completely different different aspect. You know, it's a, I never thought of an author behind the comics. I thought the comics were there. Just pictures, <laughs> pictures and pictures everything and tells its own tale. Yeah, the guys I knew somebody draw them, and I always wondered how they make the jokes. But the comics were like fantasy to me. You know, it was great. Never tried to put two together, you know? Right. And, and Gru, uh, the character came along uh, first as a pantomime type character? Um, uh, yeah. Uh, well, I have never thought of comic as pantomime. Okay. Because it, it has to be a combination of both, uh, words and, and drawing. It's like television. Pantomime and television wouldn't work. Uh, you need... Um, it's short, it's concise, it goes to the point. So in a gag it works very nice, but in a comic it needs words. Okay. So it had never been as a pantomime. And I write the stories with the English that you hear right now. <laughs> so okay. I've, I always need Mark Evanier. So man. that's where Mark came from. Oh man, it's a salvation because with his great sense of humor, just we work together very, very well. And I heard he was a fan of yours also before you guys met. That's correct. Yeah. I uh, got a call from him to, to give a talk at his, fa uh, at his fan club. And I did, and we became very good friends. Oh, that's great. That's neat. And uh, you have a card game coming out. Yes, and um, these are the cards. And it'll be out this month. Uh, it's done by uh, a gentleman called Ken Whitman, who's an expert on games. And uh, that's gone with all dice. Right. And it's all self-contained, not collectible. So people can buy the set and play immediately. And I look at it, and I have a good time with it. So. Not have to worry yes. about getting those special cards no, 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 or keep no, no, buying no, no, and buying. No. It's, it's all That's something. great. That's yeah. great. You got a cheese dip card I see and everything in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So um, you've been uh, you've been in the business for a long time. What? Uh, well, the future. What, what are you looking at? Louder than words. For, Louder than um, words. Dark Horse, which oh. will be uh, six issues, and that's coming also this month. They'll be ready for the San Diego Con. And they'll be black and white, and they'll be gags. I don't know if you can photograph. This is just that's a, a one-shot thing. Well, you can see them all in the... Yeah, we can zoom in a little bit on, yeah, on the pages here. No, but there's one that looks very cute because it's just one big shot. And uh, this, oh, here, this one. Yeah. Can you get it? You tied in on this one? <laughs> that's neat. Because there's the... Uh, <laughs> the Romans and the cows, so it's <laughs> absurd. That's another thing. I love my work, and you know? I laugh with my guys. We do too. No. Good, good, good. You've See, been in... you, you know the marginals, the ones that appear in the magazine? Mm -hmm. I, I have never missed an issue in 36 years, and I don't know how the brain works, but it's like a computer, and I don't remember any of my gags. So when I see them in all the issues, I laugh. People say, what is this man laughing at his own work? <laughs> it's just, I don't remember them. I mean, I, it's been... Thousands and thousands, you know, so it's, I see an old one, and oh my god, that's funny. You've been doing it for a long time. It's, yeah, yeah, it's just like somebody telling me a new joke that I didn't know about, you know. <laughs> Have you ever repeated gags? By accident. In a different, yeah. in a different vein, or oh, no, well, change around? You or? use a subject, 
For instance, I use the Gesundheit joke, which is a guy sneezing and something breaks. So I have used it with a tiger losing his spots, a giraffe losing his spots. Uh, so you use the same element of the joke many times, because sure. that's how many elements can you use. Gag. It's a running gag. That, that, that I have done with different subjects, sure. the desert islands, everything. But it, the same joke, per se, just by accident, yes. Wow. But not in purpose. No, of course. <laughs> All right. Um, so here at the Chicago Comic Con, we have Sergio Aragones. We've uh, we've got all kinds of products for you to look for. Uh, we've got a interview videotape. Um, of course, the Mighty Magnor uh, and Gru comics. Louder than words coming out from Dark Horse, and of course, the Gru card game coming out this month. Uh, uh, July. Yes. All right. So uh, check your comic stores and. Uh, as always, support the Comic Legal Defense Fund. Always. Uh, thanks a lot, Sergio. Pleasure. All right. More from the Chicago Comic Con coming your way.